Whatever you do, do not use caulking to fill up your nail holes and your miter seams. Now, over the years, I've seen a bunch of painters using caulking. I've even seen several YouTube videos that recommend caulking. So I tested it out on this trim back here and the results are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> That's way worse than I thought. I thought they'd look okay from kind of five, six feet away. These things are horrible from any distance. 10, 15 feet, you can see these nail holes. The caulking just shrunk. So I used uh, Dynoflex 230 and Alex Plus because Alex Plus is what most painters end up using because it's cheaper. And over here, I even built the caulking up with both the different caulkings. I let it dry for two days and then tried to sand it nice and flush. I got everything prepped up. I hit it with two coats of paint on the surface just to see what it would look like. It's an absolute nightmare. You've got a few of the nail holes that are just small little divots, but 90% of them are just absolute moon craters. Embarrassing, disgusting moon craters. The miter seems amateur at best. So caulking is the perfect material to make things look seamless along a 90 degree edge. When it comes to nail holes and miter seams, do yourself a favor, take that tube of caulking and just drop kick it straight into the ocean. But enough with all the negativity here. Let's head on over to this door. I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest way to get flawless looking results. What you want to use is wood filler. Now, a number of painters that I've seen will use more of a lightweight spackle type approach, a dried X or even drywall compound. You can get good results using that, but because it's so soft, it's going to be very easy to over sand and end up with little dips. And you're not going to want to do two coats on all the nail holes. So I like to use the wood filler. I use the Elmer's squeeze tube white wood filler. The white is nice. It's going to cover easier if you're painting your trims white. You can get this stuff at the Home Depot. I think you can get it on Amazon. If you can, I will link it in the description. And the real secret to a one coat perfect application is to get the wood filler mounted up properly. So I'll just take the squeeze tube, I'll put some on my finger and I'll push it into the nail hole. Make sure you push it in tight. And then if it's not mounted up enough, just take a little bit more and mound it up. You don't want to make a huge mess here, but you want to have a little mound so that you can come back and sand that off. So I'll hit all the nail holes and then the miter seams, I will take some more, put it on my finger and just rub it into the crack. Rub it in so that you've covered that crack and just mound it up just slightly along that seam. When it comes to sanding, I would avoid a uh, sponge sand. I like to use a nice sheet sandpaper. I like 150 grit. It's aggressive enough that it's not gonna take forever. So I'll fold that up and get to sanding. And the secret here is you wanna take your trail hand and use that as a feeler guide. If there's any dips or any little ridges, you will feel that with your off hand. So if there's any ridges, come back and hit those. If there's any dips or any little pinholes that you've missed, just take a little bit of the filler and rub that in almost flush here. Because it's so shallow, it's going to dry in 15 minutes or less. Once you get that all sanded up, you can wipe that off. And now for these trims here, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I hit this with two coats with a foam roller. There's crazy orange peel, but you can see the difference here. You cannot pick out any of the nail holes from any distance, any angle. If we look at the difference between the two miters, you can see the seams are clearly visible over here. Over here, you can't see anything. They are absolutely perfect. Now the wood filler is gonna make a big difference there, but the biggest difference is gonna be how you apply these trims in the first place. I did two different methods between here and here. If you want to see how to get these perfect looking miters, go ahead and check out this video right over here. I don't know why I get nervous and sweaty.